in this video we have been given that 5ab is equal to 4bc and bp is 20 cq is 15 and i is in center of the triangle and pq is parallel to bc then we have to find bc so in any triangle abc suppose ad be and cf are angle bisector if ad be and cf are angle bisector then they will intersect at a single point that is in center so here if we join bi then these two angles will be equal suppose alpha and if we join ci then these two angles will be equal suppose beta angle pbi it will be equal to angle cbi that is alpha and angle qci it will be equal to angle bci that is beta because i is in center and now we have pq is parallel to bc so angle cbi it will be equal to angle pib that will be alpha this angle it will be also alpha and angle bci it will be equal to angle qic that will be beta this angle it will be beta and now interangle bpi interangle bpi these two angles are equal so bp it will be equal to pi bp it will be equal to pi so pi it will be also 20 and interangle cqi these two angles are equal so cq it will be equal to qi so qi it will be 15 and now interangle abc and pq we know that pq it is parallel to bc that means these two angles will be equal and these two angles will be equal hence triangle APQ it will be similar to triangle ABC so AP by AB it will be equal to PQ by BC and we have pipe AB is equal to 4bc so ab 
it will be 4 by 5 BC. So it is AP by AB is 4 by 5 BC. It is equal to and PQ it will be 20 plus 15. PQ is 20 plus 15 by BC. And BC will get cancelled. So AP it will be equal to 4 by 5 times 20 plus 15. And AP it is 4 by 5 times 35. And 5 times 7 is 35. So it is 4 times 7 that will be 28. So AP it is 28. And now AB it will be AP plus BP. So AB it is 28 plus 20 and AB it is 48. And we have given that 5AB is equal to 4BC. So BC it will be 5 by 4 AB and BC is 5 by 4 times AB is 48. AB is 48 and 4 times 12 is 48. So BC it is 5 times 12 that will be 60. So BC it is 60.